Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number five of the APA D League, and we are up against Diet Tight, and he has a very interesting team. He actually went 4-0 with his first draft, and we're both coming in with brand new drafts. I don't really know what to expect from his team, but I just gotta try to deal with whatever he brings. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see the Thunderous, the Zygarde, the Slowbro, Infernape, uh, Mega Arrow, and the Metagross. So right away, no Slurpuff, no Slurpuff. Uh, I did feel like my Ditto would kind of deter the Slurpuff. No Weezing, no Weezing is actually kind of huge. And uh, no Crustle, no Crustle's fine. No Tangela. Oh, actually, no Tangela is actually kind of huge. No Silvali. That's super interesting because in my mind, I was thinking, like, if he doesn't have a Dark type on his draft, I don't think. So, like, no Silvali Dark is kind of a throw. So, I don't know. We're going to have to see whatever we can do against this. Um, Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Part of me wants to lead off with a Raquinid, but you might just think that I want to uh, do a Sticky Web lead. Um, I think I'll lead Mega Houndoom. What would he be most likely to lead with? Maybe the Arrow, maybe the... Maybe the Metagross, maybe the Infernape, for all I know. I'm going to lead off with the... Actually, no. Okay, no. Part of me was thinking that I should lead off with a Togekiss, but I think Togekiss is going to um, be better for me if it can switch in and out. And I forgot to take a screenshot, but I will do that uh, on the bottom screen. Uh, so let me see here. I do have a Scarf Togekiss, which uh, does a decent job against his team. Uh, there's the Houndoom to lead off with, as he does lead off with the uh, Thunderous. So before anything, I'm going to try to take this screenshot right now. Yeah, okay. So I'm fairly confident in just attacking this thing. I am... I do outspeed this thing, or at least I should. And I really want to not overthink this, right? So I feel like my team beats his team if I just don't overthink too much. If I can just uh, play reasonably safely, I feel pretty good about this matchup. What's his most likely switch in? I mean, if anything, Dark Pulse just does a lot of damage to whatever he wants to bring in here. I think I'm just going to click Mega Evolve and... Click Dark Pulse here. I feel like it's a very small downside play here. This thing might be Scarfed. This thing could be uh, debating me into something huge. But I wonder what he expected me to lead off with. I wonder what he expected me to lead off with. Maybe the Bronzong does withdraw. So, I mean, Dark Pulse should do a bunch of work to whatever wants to come in. Does bring in this thing. I should outspeed this thing. So, this could be really signaling Scarf here. Uh, Infernape. Uh, just a Dark Pulse onto an Infernape does right around 30-ish percent. Let's see. Yeah, that's about perfectly right for no bulk Infernape. And I think for right now, I have to assume that this thing is Scarfed. Otherwise, I couldn't imagine it coming in in this situation. It does kind of make me want to go into... Either the Dawn Fan or the Araquanid. Um, yeah, the Araquanid is actually a lot less crucial for the larger sp uh, span of this match. I think what I want to do is go, go into Araquanid. Um, with Water Bubble, I will basically resist any fire fire hit, and I do resist uh, fighting naturally. He does go for the U-turn. Okay. Um, I did kind of think that as well. Part of me did want to stay in and click Dark Pulse, but... I think that was too much of a risk in the face of a potentially, I, I'll, I'll say likely scarfed uh, Infernape. So, I don't know. Maybe that was a no balls play on my part, but I don't think he has the best switches in. If anything, it would force a Thunderous in. And if that's the case, then I guess I don't mind too, too much. If the Thunderous comes in, I mean, then I could bring in the Dawn Fan, but then he could U-turn, he could Grass Knot, he can... Do something here. 
I'm not even too too sure how well Raquinid would take a hit from a potential Thunderous. Um, if anything, Bronzong. Well, no. Okay, so Bronzong has to be my dedicated kind of answer to Mega Aerodactyl. Oh, goes straight into Aerodactyl. That's very interesting. He could just be wanting. He just could set up rocks here. He could just set up rocks here. But if I go into. If I go into Bronzong now, then I just click Toxic. I feel like I just go into Bronzong and click Toxic. He could potentially want to bring in the Slowbro. That's fine. He could potentially want to bring in the Metagross. Maybe instead of Toxic, I go for. Shadow Vault? No. I think Toxic. Zygarde's too big of a threat in this situation. Yeah, I think... Does good. Just go for the Aerial Lace. That's fine. That's fine. We are more or less max special defense... Or max physical defense, I believe. But, uh, yeah, I think... My instinct, to say that, my instinct is to say that there's no downside to clicking uh, Toxic here. I'm gonna click Toxic here. If he goes into the Metagross, then... I can attempt a Shadow Ball, goes into this thing. See, here's the thing, I don't know if you would want to... Mm. Part of me wants to say that I should hold my ground on a potential U-turn again, but at the same time, I really cannot risk this thing as my Mega Arrow check. Um, But I don't want to give this thing a free U-turn again. That's one of the worst things I could do right now. I really want to click Double Toxic here. Okay, so actually, now that I think about it... Now that I think about it... If he stays in, clicks Flare Blitz... If he stays in and clicks Flare Blitz, then... My secondary answer is potentially my Dawn Fan. So maybe that's my play? Yeah, I don't think... I think it's more worth it to hold my ground, and I think I'm gonna... I really want to attempt to go for... A Toxic here. A Double Toxic here. But he... I could be giving Metagross a free turn here. I'm gonna click Double Toxic. Let's see. Show me the U-turn. Show me the dang U-turn. I couldn't imagine... Just go for the Flare Blitz. And that's a straight Oko. That's a... That's a crit. Okay. I was thinking, could that be possible banned? But... Let's see. Because if that confirms banned... Oh no, it's potential... Yeah, it's potentially... Just a crit, yeah. Just a crit does the same thing here. I think what I could do now is go into Dawn Fan and set up rocks here. I think that should actually be my play here. Um, because... I think I'm still gonna operate under the assumption that this thing is, in fact... Scarfed, and if it goes for Flare Blitz again, then that would pretty much confirm it. Um, regardless, yeah, it does go for the Flare Blitz again, so... Um... The... Infernape, that is so much damage. So actually, that has that has to be banned. That has to be banned. Uh, I could definitely see a slow bro, a slow bro play coming here, but a slow bro would allow in my Araquanid. Slow bro would allow in my Araquanid. Uh, for the record, he did uh, apologize pretty much immediately for the crit, but, um. I mean, first of all, if it was if it was banded, then it might not have mattered. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I it it is definitely unfortunate, but it was a risk that I knew that I was taking in this situation. So it's gonna be what it is. Um, does go into the slow bro. This does again give me a, a very free play into 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 Araquanid here. But he could also go for toxic, which. I would not want to happen. 
But I don't know what else I would want to do here. I could go into... I could, yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into my Togekiss. This, again, this is a Scarf Togekiss. Part of me wants to click uh, spam Air Slash against this thing. But Togekiss is the mon that is least um, concerned about getting toxic, I guess. To I do get burned, but I can't get toxic, I guess. Um, but it's the mon that I care least about uh, maintaining HP on. But also, Metagross is a super easy play for him, so I do want to click Shadow Ball in this situation. And I guess we can start to gauge damage. This is a modest... This is a modest Togekiss. Wow, that still does very little damage. We do get a special defense drop, which is reasonably huge. Goes for Future Sight here. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna have to... I feel dumb for having it... Google Future Sight, but... If I can somehow work it out so that... Um, my Houndoom is in when Future Sight pops, then... That would be potentially pretty good for me. Uh, it, it's what, three turns? Um, is it three turns later? Um, two turns later. Okay. Will it show up on the bottom screen? Future attack. Two turns. Okay. I actually kind of want to go into, into into Houndoom right now. Because this thing, do, I don't think, would want to stay in against a potential second Shadow Ball. And anything that he would want to switch into here... Well, Mega Arrow would be the, his, his go-to switch in. Maybe going into... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I can go for one more Shadow Ball, and if he does bring in the Mega Aerodactyl, then that would be when I go into my Dawn Fan, I think. Because he has to take the damage, and Dawn Fan can potentially Ice Shard, and we can go from there. So, fun fact, I actually really wanted to, um, I actually really wanted to bring a, like, full max speed, um, Scarf Togekiss, but Scarf Togekiss never outspeeds, um, Aerodactyl, no matter what I do. So, that was unfortunate, that was really unfortunate, but, uh, we got enough damage off right now, and... I guess you could call this, go for, like, Aqua Tail. I'd be surprised if he even packs Aqua Tail. I don't know. Do you pack Aqua Tail just for this? Goes for Roost. That's fine. I think that's fine. If I do lose this match, it will be to this Mega Aerodactyl. Okay. I... Might have forgotten about that. Um, I think, yeah, I think this might be the moment to just go into... To just go into... My Necrozma? My Necrozma is really the only Mon that can 1v1 this thing that I have left on my team. Um... I really just want to click Photon Geyser, but I... Mm, let me see. Mega Aerodactyl. Against my Necrozma. Yeah, I should take hits reasonably well. I'm a, I'm a very defensive Necrozma. I'm going to click Calm Mind here. Does go for the Aerial Ace. Okay, I go down to 148. I go down to 148. Let me give this thing Aerial Ace. 203 minus 148 is 55 points of damage. Aerial Ace. Um, yeah, that should just be Max Attack Aerodactyl. 
But I feel like I just click Calm Mind again. I just feel like I click Calm Mind again. Goes for Stone Edge as I avoid. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, but I don't know. I guess I got critted before, so what am I going to do? Um, yeah, just go for Calm Mind again. So according to this, uh, even if he does land the Stone Edge, even if he does land the Stone Edge, then that would just barely bring me down under half, I think. Yeah. Yeah, max damage would just barely bring me down under half. But it could crit, so I don't know. I guess I'm playing a pretty decent uh, risk here. But yeah, like I said, just under half. Um, now I guess that puts me at plus two, and I can Moonlight up now. I'm gonna have to Moonlight up pretty much immediately. And if he misses any more Stone Edges, and that would put him in a pretty bad position. He does land another Stone Edge. It would be pretty bad if he critted me right now, but he doesn't. I get the Moonlight off. And from here, I'm going to be netting HP. So I need to get up as high as I can, and then I can Photon Geyser. I'm a plus two, right? Photon Geyser should have a chance to KO at plus two. Let me just check. I'm at plus two. I'm at plus three. Oh. Plus three for sure should KO. And I, th I think he's just fishing for a crit at this point. If he were to get another crit, that would be insanely unlucky. I really did want to be able to fit um, Autotomize on this set as well, but then I couldn't... Then I couldn't pack Dark Pulse for the... Slowbro or the or the uh, Metagross, but one more Moonlight. Okay. Regardless whether that landed or not, between um Moonlight and between Moonlight and Leftovers, I would have been pretty much at full. No, regardless. So at this point, I can just click Photon Geyser, and granted, this Stone Edge is going to put me down pretty darn low. But, um, this is going to be pretty much as healthy as I'm going to be. And that's an Oko. Okay. So now his best play would have to be to probably go into Thunderous? I'm at plus three, so maybe not Thunderous. I'm actually going to give myself plus three the special defense and the Calc. His best answer might be Zygarde at this point. Zygarde? Let me just see Bandit Zygarde here. Oh, Bandit Zygarde does not do nearly enough. Bandit Zygar doesn't do nearly enough. I'm too scared to give this thing turns to... To... Um... Dragon Dance up? But even... Even Choice Band... Even Adamant Choice Band. If I take off Choice Band... Then this thing does like a quarter to me. I think I Moonlight instead. Because I should end up close to full, even if he does go for Thousand Arrows. Oh, going for a Z... Going for a Z Tectonic Rage. That should do... I guess that has a chance to take me out? If he's adamant. No, if he's adamant, I don't think it ever takes me out. It does max 123 points if it's max attack adamant. And I'm gonna get hecka HP back. Wow, that is really close to um, a really max roll. That is very close to a, to an absolute max roll. But... Uh, Necrozma's here. I'm gonna have to Moonlight again. He could go for Outrage. I wonder... I, this Calc doesn't have Outrage inherently. This Calc put a Dragon Tail on this thing. If this thing has Dragon Tail, then I might just lose straight up. I guess it would depend on what he Dragon Tails me out into. Um, but now that we know, Outrage should do maximum of 40%. So I'll be netting a little bit of HP back. I think regardless, it has to be the play. Just to get myself up a little bit healthier, I think it's going to have to be worth it 
for the rest of this match, but doesn't go for the Outrage, instead goes for a Thousand Arrows. We take that decently well, and we're able to Moonlight back up. I think if I'm healthy enough to take on the Tornadus, or the Thunder is, then, oh, that puts me up to darn near full. Okay. Okay, so if he's going to Outrage, he's going to Outrage right now, and that's going to bring me down to right around... Goes for Dragon Dance. He thought I was going to do that again. I mean, that's kind of baffling. That's kind of baffling, if I'm being honest. I don't know. But I guess we see if this thing is max HP. Because if it is max HP, then yeah, it, it maybe takes this. I think it actually... Yeah, Photon Geyser is not... Photon Geyser is not a guaranteed KO. Even at plus two, but... Yeah, regardless, still not going for Outrage, so probably doesn't have the Outrage, but regardless, even at plus one, we take those, um, we take those Thousand Arrows pretty darn well. What would I, what should I be most worried about now? I should be most worried about Metagross coming in and, like, a Meteor mashing me, like, all the way in, down, I don't know. Um, I'm at plus three, so I'm pretty positive I can take on the Thunderous. Thunderous. Thunderous Incarnate. Um, let's just say it's a nasty plot set. Oh man, if I'm at plus three, Thunderous does more or less nothing to me. I'm not worried at all about Slowbro, and Metagross is the only thing that's going to really threaten me here. Slowbro, okay. I'm super interested in the slow bro. Let's say it's assault vested. Worst case scenario, assault vested slow bro. Dark pulse is a roll to KO. If it's max, if it's more or less max special defense. Oh no, this isn't. If it's max HP assault vest, then it's still a roll. Dark pulse should do minimum seventy three percent. So I guess we're gonna see how especially defensive this thing is. I have not yet revealed dark pulse, but uh. If this KOs... Oh, that is... That is... Oh, well, we get the flinch. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm... He's he's saying... He's, Alright, he's just said that's a GG. I'm just gonna say sorry about that, man. Um... But I'm gonna Dark Pulse again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He just says, all good. As I get another Dark Pulse off. And Necrozma's just here. I'm getting even healthier. Now I don't even think I have to worry about Necro um, not Necrozma, uh, Metagross. Um, let's see here. Goes into this thing. Yeah, I don't think this thing can do anything to threaten me at all. So I'm just going to click Photon Geyser. And... I think we just seal it up with another Dark Pulse. I don't think Metagross can inherently do anything to do over 50% to me, but even... I don't know. Let's assume that it does. Let's assume that it does. Um, oh, then my Mega Houndoom comes in, I guess. Yeah, Mega Houndoom comes in, clicks Dark Pulse, and potentially wins. Um, so yeah, I guess that's a thing. Potentially, potentially, Necrozma gets 5 KOs in this match. Necrozma gets five KOs in this match. Um, with the last one going to uh Donphan? Either Donphan or Either Donphan or Bronzong, because Bronzong got toxic, but I don't remember if it burned itself out to Flare Blitz before the toxic damage, or if the toxic damage took it out after the Flare Blitz. But regardless. I click Dark Pulse. We see if this thing can take it. It does not, and that's going to be a win we give uh die his first loss in this dang league and we come up to three and two it makes up a little bit i guess for uh that wild match last week against kelly but uh what can i say i don't even know thank you thank you guys so much for watching that's gonna be it for me uh we'll be back with more mpl with more apa and uh, a few other projects coming up really soon but um, yeah, Necroz was pretty dope. I spent my tier one pick, and the first thing, the first thing that happened after I picked Necrozma 
was Dai in the chat saying that it was too early for Necrozma, but it was the second to last pick of the first round, and uh, this is what this is what happened. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, out.